Hey, so what's going on guys? This is Gavin Robinson here with another installment video for MLM Nuggets, you know, where I share some tips and strategies that have helped me on my network marketing journey because, you know, guys, this industry has allowed me to basically be working full time from home. I'm pretty sure some of the things I share with you will be of value and be able to impact not only your life, but take your business to another level, all right? So today, it's all about the three characteristics of a good prospect, all right? Now, as you can see, the first one is a good attitude. A good attitude. Now, you want people with, yes, a good positive attitude. Um, at the end of the day, yes, you're going to get individuals who attack us, you know, saying, oh, is that a pyramid scheme? Is that a scam? You know, why are you wasting your time? But naturally, yeah, they're going to say that, but it's more so about how people say. It's not what they say, but how they bring it over. So if people come at you with a negative aura, I mean, straight away, what I love about network marketing is that we have the power to um, decide who we want to work with. So you can disqualify people. I've done it before. So if I don't see you as a fit to work with me, you know, I save myself the time, stress, energy, and money. You should do the same thing as well, all right? Don't be in such a hurry to get a quick sign up, you know, and that could be potentially stressful later on for you, man. So, yeah, the first thing, good attitude. The second characteristic you want is um, someone that is coachable, right? Coachability. If you can understand where I'm writing there. Yeah, coachability. So you want people who are willing to learn. You want someone who's saying, well, yes, you know, tell me what I have to do, instructions, you know, I'm willing to follow it. You don't want someone who's a know-it-all. You know, some people might come and say, hey, I have a marketing degree or I did sales, so this is going to be a breeze for me. Never marketing is something non-traditional. Yes, some of the traditional principles may apply, but this is not going to be the same. And a lot of people fall flat on their face when they come in with that mentality. So. You want to ask you one of my qualifying questions when, I, when I'm uh, prospecting is I ask people, you know, are you someone who's coachable? Are you willing to listen and learn and follow instructions, right? And if you say yes, you know, they're willing to do that, that's what you want. That's what we want, all right? You don't want to know it all. You don't want to know it all. And then lastly, you want someone that has a need, pain, or... A desire to fill. Remember, we are problem solvers. Don't be so quick to shove your opportunity, you know, down someone's throat. Um, you know, engage in conversation, ask questions with your prospects, you find out you know where they're at in life. You know, if people are tired of their job or they just simply want to get extra income, maybe they have never traveled before and they want to see the world. Um, maybe they are a place that just need a career change. You know, ask questions, ask more questions and you collect that information and you'll be able to tailor to fill any of these three things. So a need, pain, and our desire. So what I found too is that people would more avoid pain than seek pleasure. People would more avoid pain than seek pleasure. So for like for me, it was always thinking about, you know, staying at a job that may be stressful for another five, ten years. As opposed to thinking about oh me traveling the world, so I would more avoid the pain of being in some place where you know I'm not driven, I'm not inspired, you know I'm stressed than you know obviously traveling the world. So I would avoid the pain, you know, so that you know I would and seize the opportunity, you guys. So that's pretty much it there. So I have someone that has a good attitude, uh, they're coachable, and they have a need, pain, or desire to be filled. Right, and, and on this last one too, what I want to add is that yes, you're going to have some individuals who are just comfortable with life, even though they're complaining and they don't want to change. Change is one of the hardest things to, you know, go about in life, but you know, no matter what, you just can to get help some people who are not willing to help themselves. So thanks for watching guys, hope you found some value, you know, like this video, drop a comment below, give me some feedback, and you know, as always man, Execution over excuses. Get to work, make it happen, be great. Subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.